Hello everybody. Um, in today's video, I want to talk about Moses McCormick. Um, he died suddenly last week at the very young age of 39 and today would have been his 40th birthday. So it's so tragic that someone died so suddenly and left behind three children and it was a very quick sudden thing and the polyglot community and language learning community are in shock over this. So um, there have been some really nice tributes. Um, I watched Richard Simcott's tribute. He normally does a live session every Sunday. Um, and instead of doing his live uh, polyglot conference session, he did a tribute to Moses for the whole hour, which was very touching. And I um, used to watch Moses' channel quite a lot. Uh, and it's very, it was very addictive because um, he would make videos of himself with a hidden camera going into a shop and speaking Chinese and various other languages. And I know he was criticized a few months ago. I watched um, a YouTube video criticizing kind of language dabblers and saying that language dabbling was not very good for the language learning community because it gives out a false impression that because people don't know those languages, they think the person is fluent in them. And I don't think Moses ever said that he was fluent in any other any of these languages. I know he said that Chinese was his best language and that to be able to reach out to people and to speak something to them in their language is just a great thing. So this is also my mission. And I think it's why I liked watching his videos so much, because I wish I could have recorded some of the conversations I've had with people in my shop, for example, where I work in the shop, but I can't because of data protection. And so Moses would go into a shop, he would go into a, a restaurant or takeaway place with a camera in his hat and he would meet people from Burma, from Taiwan, from Bangladesh, from various places, and he would try to say something in those languages. And I know from experience, just saying a couple of words in a language to somebody from their native language makes them feel so happy. So I have an example of this. I met an Albanian lady in my shop and I don't know any Albanian other than Persian Dirtia, which means hello. And I met this lady and she couldn't speak any English. And I said to her Persian Dirtia and she lit up and she showed me photos from her home and she came in and she kept coming in and she bought loads of things in my shop and it was really nice but to see that look on her face and i think that's what it was all about with with moses videos so it doesn't matter that he wasn't fluent in 50 languages or however many languages he dabbled in <laughs> um, he was just an inspiration to the language learning community and when he died last week um it was quite shocking there were lots of nice tributes on his wall Facebook wall. Um, but today logging onto Facebook is weird because there are lots of happy birthday messages from people who don't know that he's died. So here's the video. Um, I'll post this on Facebook as well. And I just wanted to say that I think he was an inspiration and he will continue to be an inspiration to people for his engagement with the community and being able to reach out to people and make them feel comfortable and make them feel happy. So if you watch his videos, there's lots of smiling, lots of laughing, lots of jokes. And I know he used to use the same phrases over and over again, but so what? That's what language learning is anyway. It is to do with repetition. And, you know, if you know how to say, how are you? Uh, and those basic phrases, then that will make somebody feel really at home. So where did Moses get his name from? Lao Shu 55,000. So when you learn Chinese, you tend to pick up a Chinese name at some, some stage. And when he was at school, he, his nickname was Mouse because it's similar to Moses. It sounds like Moses. So in Chinese, a mouse is Lao Shu. I, I don't know how to pronounce the last bit. I think it's Lao Shu. Um, so a teacher in Chinese is Lao Shu which is very similar. And ironically, the first parts of that uh, Chinese character, so it's composed of two characters, Lao Shu. Lao means old. <laughs> and, um, you know, Moses only 
got to just under 40 years old, which is a real tragedy. So it's ironic that he chose that, but Lao Shu is mouse, and he often jokes with people about that in his videos. So um, I was on Italki looking for teachers and just having a look on there because I wrote some articles and it was pub they were published on there and it drew me back to Italki and I noticed Moses on there. He was also having lessons from the same Kurdish teacher as me. Sorry, a door just closed in the background there. It's a bit spooky. Um, I'm in the house on my own as well. Um, it's the wind outside. Sorry, we've got really um, severe gales at the moment in the UK. So, um, yeah, I was on Italki and my Kurdish teacher um, was the same teacher as, as uh, Laosha's teacher. And I noticed that uh, he did a video of 12 teachers, 12 Italki teachers. It's like a Zoom meeting live thing, which I watched. And my um, Kurdish teacher, Shamak, was on there. And I thought, oh, well, he's got the same Kurdish teacher as me. Um, and I know other Facebook friends of mine have commented on this, saying that they were looking for a teacher and uh, they noticed his name come up. So he was addicted to Italki. <laughs> um, I only have one kind of personal engagement with Moses, and that was when we were talking about food and he liked Reese's butter cups, Reese's peanut butter cups. Uh, and so do I, I'm mad on peanut butter. I don't buy it anymore because um, I just eat the whole jar and get ill from it. And he said he tried mayonnaise on the Reese's uh, peanut butter cup. And I thought that sounds awesome. <laughs> and I think everybody else was completely disgusted by it, but um, I had a similar kind of food taste to him, I think. <laughs> um, Laosha, 55,000, Moses McCormack, um, rest in peace and um, thanks for inspiring so many people and I hope that people continue to watch your videos somehow. I don't know what will happen to your YouTube channel, but um, happy birthday today <laughs> that you would have had. It's such a sad thing to to have died just before your birthday. Um, so here's a link to his videos and uh, a couple of pictures. Thanks for watching. Take care.